Hello everyone, welcome to the newest edition of Team Johnson Outdoors. In today's episode, you're going to see a bunch of action from our trip up to Voyagers National Park in northern Minnesota. Our trip didn't quite go as planned and we had to leave early, but before we did, we had some good times. So stay tuned and check out what happened. Before our trip even got underway, Pup and Michelle noticed that they had a screw in their tire. So they had to stop off at Atchison Tire and get that fixed. And then they headed over to meet up with us. We just stopped in at SNS Meats, filled up with gas, got some brats, and got some steaks. I can already feel my mouth watering. One last stop here at God's Country Ice to get a bunch of ice for our coolers to keep our stuff cold over the next few days. Now that all that stuff is taken care of, it's time to get going. So let's hit the road. All right, before we head over to Crane Lake, we're gonna stop in here at Norm's One Stop in Orr and get some last minute supplies. All right, so we are there, obviously. We're gonna go through Crane Lake go through King Williams Narrows, past Makuta Lake, and into Sandpoint Lake. And then eventually we'll make our way through Namakin Narrows right there. And then we are camping right about there. This is Rusty Island, and we're gonna be just to the east of that. All right, we are officially on the water on Crane Lake. So we are ready to begin our adventure. The open lake! The open lake! All right. There's Papa Michelle in the mule. It's not really the mule anymore, but for lack of a better nickname, the mule. We have arrived at camp and we're all set up. Kellen decided he was going to go for a little float in the bay here. Let's show the viewers at home. Plus fish at Voyager National Park. This houseboat came out of the, around that corner, like the pirate ship in the movie Goonies. Is your boat tied? Yep. Take it off. <laughs> it's tied down. I'll go grab it. Hey, Pop, how's it going? <laughs> it's a turtle over here, buddy. Kellen, there's a turtle. Yep. What kind of turtle is that, buddy? Painted. Painted turtle. Yep. All right. Check it out for a second, but then we're gonna let him back down. I'm gonna go so tight. Pretty big guy, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna go so tight. Though. We got out here at about 2:30 today and got camp all set up. We thought about doing some fishing, but the weather looked like it was gonna maybe rain on us. We ate some dinner and just decided to hang out for our first evening here. Kellen, how is the fishing going from shore? Uh, we've had a few bites, but nothing's really biting anymore. Okay. You excited to go out in the boat tomorrow and go catch some walleyes? Yeah. Yeah? All right, good deal. We are staying at the Birch Cove campsite. Uh, it's on the east end of Namakin Lake, not too far from Rusty Island, which is right there. The boys have been using this little path in the water there to get out to this island to do some fishing. Uh, Megan and Parker are out there 
fishing just a little bit. All right, that's the end of day one. We'll see you guys in the morning. bit of a windy one last night. Still this morning. What's for breakfast this morning? Cheerios. Cheerios. I'll just sleep last night. Stormy. Very stormy. Yeah. Could have been worse. What are you cooking, pup? Sausage. Jimmy Dean? Jimmy Dean. Nice. In there, make a little breakfast burrito. Okay. Hopefully, the wind dies down. We can go do some fishing. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good. Good. Any words of wisdom today? Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. All right, well, we didn't come up here to chew bubble gum. So the boys and I and Uncle Pup are out. We're gonna be trolling for some walleyes. See if anything hits. Oh, no, no. All right, Kellen just pulled one in here. What is it, Kellen? A walleye. A walleye, caught that on a gold bladed spinner and a crawler. Nice job, buddy. gonna be lunch. On uh, Namekin you have to throw anything back between 18 and 26. You can eat one over 26. Hey dad where did we get our bait? We got our bait at Thousand Lakes Sporting Goods in Grand Rapids. got one on there just hooked up with one on the Phelps floater oh there we go all right pup's got a orange and yellow spinner on there single spinner on that one pup single spinner with like four red beads and a leech. all right single spinner four red beads and a leech all right red hook, red hook. nice job Parker just got one off camera on that green jig and a leech, buddy. Yeah. Just put it down, didn't we? Yeah. And it looks like Freddy's so far in the All right, throw it in the throw it in here. Let's take a look how long it is. All right, looks like about 14 inches. So we have a 13 inch minimum that we're doing for fish fries. So Parker, let's throw them in here and see how we're doing so far. So we've got six in the fly well for now. Pretty good job so far guys. Alright so we are just kind of trolling along a weed edge and when we get down to the one end where the wind's been blowing it seems like the fish are kind of stacked up in there a little bit and we've picked up quite a few just on this one end. 
that should be a great little spot to throw an anchor in, throw some bobbers on, and see if we can do some bobber fishing. So, Parker got one on there. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, that's what we've been doing. We've been repeating the pattern, and it's paid off every time. Another one? We'll just leave it in the water. <laughs> nice walleye. All right. Another one on the green jig. Oh, there. Got your lead back. All right. We'll measure her up. Perfect. Oh, just drop it one more time, but this time put it in the live well. There we go. Hey, Kellen. You know you're doing a good job when your Uncle Pup decides to switch lures to match what you got on. Yeah. Right, Pup? Yeah. They say that imitation is the highest form of flattery. I think that's what the DNR uses to put sand down for the houseboat spots. All right, Pup's got one on. Seems to be this little corner, doesn't it, guys? Yeah. All right, now Pup had made a lure change. All right, there we go. Good job with the net, buddy. Good job, pup. Small mo bass. <laughs> Where's Smalley? No, I got it. Where's Smalley? Oh, you're close. Okay. Well, we ended up with eight keepers. And we must have caught another eight more. So not too bad for an hour and a half of fishing. We're gonna head back, have some lunch, and maybe go for a boat ride and do some more fishing later on this evening. All right, still really windy. It was amazing how nice and calm it was back where we were fishing. Uh, it's around to be a pretty nice day. The wind just needs to die down a little bit. No Team Johnson Voyager National Park video would be complete without getting a view from the outdoor throne. It's not the most scenic throne I've been on, but it's not too bad. At least it's out of the wind currently. Camp is back that way, so fairly secluded. Can't complain too much about that. by days how about we do the windy day and then the windy day and then the windy day still windy you can hear me we are cooking some dinner though second one since we've been out here in our about 10 minutes all right good job pop just got another one uh, about like 12 minutes. We've been out here, Papa was already had out of two. I think maybe three, I just forgot. All right, we are out for an evening fish. There's a whole family in my boat. And then Papa and Michelle are in their boat over there. You saw Pup catch one already. Uh, maybe even two. Anyway, we're just gonna do some bobber fishing, hang out for a while and see what we catch. We did not stay out fishing for very long because we noticed a dark cloud moving in from the west. We headed back to camp to make sure things were taken care of 
as you can see, this one little cell of weather went right over the top of us. We had a wall of rain and severe gusts of winds come into camp. I'm not exactly sure what happened to the audio in this next clip. Maybe my phone wasn't working correctly after being doused in rain. But in this clip, Kellen and I are explaining what happened to the tent. And in short, when the wind came, it picked up the whole front of the tent and broke one of our poles, which ended up poking through the rain fly. Megan and the kids hopped in the tent to hold it down, and my brother and I held it from the outside. After the weather settled, we duct taped the pole up as best as we could, and we also put a duct tape patch on the rain fly. It made for an interesting night. The next morning, we woke up and looked at the wind forecast. It looked like there was no break in sight, so we decided that it was best to take off and head back in. Just cooking up some of our fish from Mammakin Lake. Little shore lunch Cajun style. So Parker, how are they? Alright. Kellen? Good. Alright, even though the trip didn't go as planned, we still had a great time up at Voyagers National Park, and I look forward to our next trip. As always, thanks for watching, stay healthy, and we'll see you next time. Look at that big old grizzly bear picking blueberries. How do they taste? It tastes really good. Tastes like blueberries. All right. Michelle says they taste really good, and Pup says they taste like blueberries. So I guess we're on the right track. So it tastes like really good blueberries. <laughs> Way to go, Scott. Way to problem solve.